If you think investing in the middle of a recession is scary and stressful, you're right. Recessions are awful occurrences that can destroy lives and they make a stock market investment, which is already difficult, even more difficult. But does that imply that you shouldn't make investments during a downturn? Simply put, no. Hello and welcome to this video. We are looking into how you can invest during a recession now that it's speculated there might be one, or rather, it has started. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. Like, comment, and also share. Having done that, let's get started. Recessions have wide-ranging effects, so you must be up and honest about one thing right away. Recovery takes time. If you play your cards well, your investments will be successful. But the market needed four years to recover to pre-recession levels in the case of the last few severe recessions. Of course, prevention is always better than cure, so you should take precautions now to protect your investments in the case of a downturn. Recession shock can be lessened with proper diversification and exposure to various markets and asset classes. Even though things appear to be improving and the markets may be expanding at present, anything can happen in this bizarre world. We're all familiar with a recession. Simply, it's when things go wrong. But such a shallow understanding won't do. If you're going to invest successfully in time of a recession, you need to know this stuff like the back of your hand. Knowing it inside out might prove hard since you might wonder where to start. Don't worry, all this will be covered and explained in simple ways. First, let's look at one way to invest called averaging down. It is more advantageous to stick to an investment plan than to constantly try to figure when to exit and re-enter the stock market, even during a recession. Missing a stock market recovery can result in bad profits since the market is unexpected. Even worse, investing during a stock market decline might be frightening. Panic-like feelings might cause investors to make poor financial judgments. Overjoy can cause investors to feel more at ease than they should even when the market is performing well for stocks. Choose an investment plan and stick with it tenaciously to remove the psychology from investing. During a recession, averaging down might be a smart investment strategy. Let's take the scenario where you paid $100 for one share of stock. The stock then drops to $50 as a result of the recession. If you can swallow your pride and purchase another share for $50, your average will have decreased. Now that you have two shares worth $50 each for a total of $150, $100 for the first share, $150 divided by two shares yields a $75 average for the two shares. You've increased your returns if the recession ends and the share price rises to $100. You will have $200, $100 multiplied by two shares once the shares recover. Your return is 33%, $50 profit divided by $150 investment, as you only invested $150. If you hadn't averaged down, you would only have kept your original $100 share, which has since rebounded to $100. The return on your investment would be 0%, $0 profit divided by $100 invested. Next. We will look at dollar cost averaging, another tactic to deal with uncertainty from investing during a recession. Buying shares of stock, mutual funds or ETFs is known as dollar cost averaging, like weekly, monthly or quarterly. The third component of the approach is choosing your investments and sticking with them no matter the situation, including a recession. Here is an illustration of using dollar cost averaging when investing during a recession. Suppose you invested $100 and purchased one share of the S&P 500 index. The index then drops to $50 as a result of the recession. You receive two shares for your subsequent $100 investment. You currently own three shares, each worth $150. When the recession is gone, the shares increase to $100 per share. After making your investment, you will purchase one extra share for $100. At that point, your first and third investments will have generated no profit, 
but your second investment has generated $100, $50 profit on two shares. Your return would be 33%, $100 in profit divided by three regular $100 investments. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 would have returned 0%. Instead, those who want to make money during a recession will put their money into high-quality businesses with solid financial positions, little debt, positive cash flow, and sectors that have historically performed well. Knowing which assets to steer clear of during a recession can be just as crucial to an investor as knowing which businesses are worthwhile investments. Companies and assets that are heavily leveraged, cyclical, or speculative are those that are most in danger during a recession. Let's look at these deeply. High Leverage Companies Most investors would be prudent to steer clear of highly leveraged businesses with significant debt loads on their balance sheets during a recession. These businesses frequently struggle with above-average interest payments that result in an unmanageable debt-to-equity ratio. A corporation may be more susceptible to tighter financial conditions when a recession strikes, the more indebted it is. These businesses struggle to pay off their debt while also dealing with a drop in sales brought on by the recession. Such organizations have a larger risk of insolvency than those with lower debt loads, or at the very least, a sharp decline in shareholder value. Cyclical Stocks Cyclical equities frequently correlate with consumer and employment confidence, both of which suffer during a recession. Cyclical equities usually do well when the economy expands and customers have more money to spend on luxury or non-essential items. Examples include businesses that produce designer clothing, furniture, or automobiles. When the economy declines, stocks that move in the same direction as the underlying economy are at risk. However, consumers often reduce their expenditure on these luxuries when the economy struggles. They cut back on expenses for things like dining out and recreational activities. As a result, cyclical stocks in these sectors frequently experience losses, making them less appealing investments during a recession. Speculative Stocks Based on the optimism of the shareholder base, speculative equities are highly valued. Recessions put this optimism to the test because these investments often perform the worst. Market bubbles that arise during economic booms and burst when they do tend to boost speculative asset values. Because they have not yet proven their worth, speculative stocks are typically viewed as under-the-radar possibilities by investors looking to seize the next big investment opportunity. During a recession, these high-risk equities frequently experience the steepest declines as investors flee the market in favor of safe haven investments that restrict their exposure to market volatility. While avoiding stocks during a recession would be tempting, investors who do so risk missing out on important opportunities. In the past, there have been businesses that prospered during recessions. Investors could think about creating a strategy focused on counter-cyclical companies and sectors with robust balance sheets resilient to recessions. Strong Balance Sheets Looking for businesses sustaining robust balance sheets or stable business models in the face of economic challenges is a wise investment approach during a recession. Utilities, basic computer product conglomerates, and defense stocks are a few examples of these business types. Investors frequently increase exposure to these groups in their portfolios in anticipation of deteriorating economic conditions. These businesses are less susceptible to rising credit standards and are better equipped to manage their existing debt. You can tell if a firm is making a profit by looking at its financial reports if they have little debt, sound cash flow, and robust cash flows. All of these things need to be taken into account before investing. Recession Resistant Industries Some industries perform fairly well during recessions, which may seem surprising. Stocks from some of these recession-resistant industries are frequently added to portfolios by investors searching for an investing strategy during market downturns. Because their demand tends to rise when incomes decline or when economic uncertainty prevails, counter-cyclical companies like these typically do well during recessions. Typically, the stock price of counter-cyclical stocks goes against the direction of the overall economic trend. These equities see a boost in value during a recession. They shrink as an expansion progresses. 
When consumers cut back on pricier goods or brands or look for comfort and stability in the face of fear and uncertainty, the demand for many of these businesses increases. These top performers typically come from the following sectors. Consumer goods, grocery stores, bargain retailers, manufacturers of firearms and ammunition, alcohol producers, cosmetics, and funeral services. Investing during the recovery. Investors should modify the strategy if the economy transitions from a recession to recovery. Low interest rates and growing growth are characteristics of this economy. The improvement in investor confidence and the conditions of easy money that characterize the boom period of the economy promote risky, leveraged, speculative ventures. The most successful businesses are those that made it through the recession and are cyclical, speculative, and highly leveraged. They are the first to recover as economic conditions return to normal and gain from rising enthusiasm and hope as the recovery takes hold. In this situation, counter-cyclical stocks typically do poorly. Instead, as investors shift to more growth-oriented assets, they see selling pressure. Reaching this point, I believe you have all the tips for walking down the investment road during a recession. Pick your asset and invest where you feel you can tolerate the risks. That will be all. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. Until next time, peace out.